probably going to be a lot of people agree or disagree with me. And that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm not saying you need to agree with me or disagree with me. But one thing that I've noticed, and I've kind of been watching this play out for the last five or so years, is that the whole Save the Bee movement pretty much set the bees fate it, it was already decided once that started to steamroll and I'm saying that because every year in the spring you see the same crazy things and every year in the fall you see the same crazy things and I made a joke that uh one of the things I've been seeing are posts like, you know, in public groups, like, oh, my bees are ready for winter. They've got, you know, double layer of R30 insulation around the hives and wrapped in uh, packing film so that their hives airtight. And uh, I even put a little space heater near their entrance. I'm down in Georgia. <laughs> we sometimes get temperatures down to 32 degrees. And then come spring, you see, oh, I lost all my bees. Must have been due to Varroa. I thought I had low Varroa counts. But really, it's due to bad beekeeping. <laughs> There's just... Humans by nature, we want to nurture and take care of everything. But bees survive for tens of thousands of years without humans. We don't really have to do much for them. And two of the last things you want to do in the wintertime is keep a beehive too warm and reduce its airflow. Because if it's too warm inside the hives, the bees are using more energy to cool the hive to maintain its temperature and without airflow all the body fluids that get exceed excrete ex bleh. all the body fluids that they let out of their bodies <laughs> raises the humidity level and it's got nowhere to go so they basically drown in their own piss So, nurturing for most farm animals isn't required. The kind of nurturing you see people do, the kind of people that are like, bring your dogs in for winter because they're too cold. And then in the fall you see them, I'm going to kill all these Asian beetles and stink bugs. Well, they're just trying to stay warm too. Don't be a hypocrite. Let everything in or don't let nothing in. <laughs> that, that's just my feelings. But honestly, people, they think they're doing good. They mean well. They think they're saving the bees. The bees don't need saved. The bees need saved from humans. That's what the bees need. They need saved from humans. Because humans mess up everything. Every single thing. Humans mess it up. Go back in history and look. Everything humans touch turns to crap. <laughs> so if the bees need saved, they need saved from humans. It's kind of crazy, and it's sad that it come to that, but I think the whole save the bee movement set the bee's fate as soon as it took off. I think it's going to have just the opposite outcome of what anybody wanted. And uh, time's going to play out. I bet you I'm going to be right. How are my bees doing today? I see them over flying. You know what? I didn't even consolidate the hives or anything. Because you know what I don't do? I barely let it, I'd barely do anything for winter. 
this is why if they don't make it through winter then to me that was bad genetics i do not want to those bees reproducing <laughs> i don't do bad genetics they either make it through winter on their own survival of the fittest they either make it through winter on their own or they don't I see bees down there in front of both those hives. It is about 52 or 53 degrees today. Bees right there. Bees over there. Bees over there. And I already checked the hives in the other parts of the property. They're all doing well. You can see I still, I still have honey supers on. Feeder boards. This worry hive right here, they never built out enough an actual worry hive from the Langstroth, which was, you know, a Langstroth split. They never built out enough. I'm just going to leave it like this. They'll either make it through winter or they won't. Very strong colonies. All of my bees are strong colonies. I don't do anything to them. They either make it through winter on their own because they have the genetics to get them through winter, like they've done for tens of thousands of years. They know how to survive. And those are the bees that I then want to breed and keep around. I don't want to pamper them and have to nurture them to get through winter. They're either going to make it on their own or they're not. And that's really what this is about is people just need to stop sometimes and think about what they're really doing because a lot of the things they're doing is doing more harm than it is good. Gonna wrap this up and keep it short. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. And uh, save the bees from the humans. <laughs>